You think? We're going to find out when it ends because, oh my gosh, we rarely do $40 off. Oh, so we got a couple weeks on it. Wait, no, we don't. We only have a couple days. It, what is 20th? I don't know. I can't remember what day it is. Well, I know we're in April, Rick, but what day is the 20th? <laughs> Rick doesn't know either. <laughs> what is it? Monday? No, what, what day is it? What day? Friday's the 20th? No, when's the 20th? <laughs> This is, this is an entire, this is, <laughs> this is socially acceptably separated people and none of the socially <laughs> separated people know what day Monday, it's Monday, Monday, thank you, Ben. It's the Jennifer, the 40 bucks off ends on Monday. <laughs> I'm serious, Jennifer, have you lost what day it is yet? Cause that yeah. has happened to me a lot. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm not in this alone, thank God. <laughs> Just say it's the new day, that's it, that's the new thing. <laughs> yes. You know, I used to always be able to tell my days by my routine, especially because I play a lot of tennis. So I used to tell the day knowing what league I was playing that day. And now that I'm not playing any of it, I don't even know what day it is. I just am like, am I working, okay? All right, Miss Jennifer, let's move on, girl, because we've got some spectacular pieces now. All right, so there's a couple stories to tell here. First off, we have a beautiful cuff we're gonna get to in just a second. We've got the matching ring. I'm wearing one of those. I think we've got all, we have all four choices. No, just the three I have out here. Do I have this one still? So that one's sold out? <laughs> the two that are here is what I have. Okay, here we go. The rings are clearly getting very limited because I'm taking them off as we speak. So two rings, three cuffs, but I do have all four earrings, and this is our smart deal. And I have to tell you what, Jennifer, these turned out amazing. There are two stones here that I have never, ever been able to offer through Chaco Canyon. I do not recall these. So we have turquoise and shell, and then we have your howlite, which is the white black. So here's the howlite. I mean, come on, that is a drop dead gorgeous earring. Last call, almost gone. Here's your turquoise and your shell. Then we move on to your ceremonial turquoise, which is gonna be the greener one. And then of course we have the famous Kingman turquoise. These earrings, and I'll, guys, can we show them? There we go. These earrings by far, when I walked into the show and I looked down, they literally stopped me in my tracks. I mean, they're just gorgeous, Jennifer. So let's start with, uh, which one do you wanna do first, guys? With the earrings. Let's talk earrings mainly, Jennifer, if you don't mind. Can you kind of walk okay. us through the design on this? Sure. Uh, for the, the artisan, his name is Greg Yazzie. He lives in, with his wife and kids out in Peru, New Mexico. And uh, he says that he learned the art of silversmithing from his grandparents. And he learned to uh, set bezels and match stones when he was a younger kid. So growing up with his elders, he said that he, did, he decided to design uh, the, a representation of the Navajo rug. Greg watched his elders as they would string a rug together when he was younger. So he wanted to make something that resembled that same art form, but through his silver work. So he said he was thinking about different shapes and stated that with each coordinating piece and as the layers went along, as it was strung on a, on a rug, he wanted to depict that same uh, style. So um, what he had done is that he had made uh, three different pieces that were layered just like yarn. And so uh, that is what you see on the three different uh, types of stones that are represented in the earring. Oh, they're beautiful. And I like how they have almost a, a somewhat freeform style to them. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, basically, when, when the Navajo people do their, their our artwork, and nothing's perfect, and so nothing is perfect in life. So with something like this, it pertains to rug making. That is a, a story in their life. And so when they use the different layering techniques, they go by, you know, the color formations, or whether it be a certain type of uh, uh, um, string that is strung through, uh, that which would be the garnet, the red part uh, on Navajo weaving, that would be the, the heart line of the people. And so growing up on the reservation, a lot of these uh, Navajo artisans grew up with their grandparents and their parents, 
you know, around sheep and, um, you know, growing up in out in the bush area. And so learning the silversmithing artwork, you know, is the next form of, you know, expressing himself. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. And guys, I don't know if you've gotten a chance to go down to Arizona, to the Phoenix area, Taos, um, if you go to Albuquerque, obviously if you're in Arizona, New Mexico, with, the, you know, beautiful places there. Santa Fe is gorgeous. Um, if you were to see a pair of earrings, I have been very fortunate to travel a lot down there. And if you were to go into the gallery shops, for example, in, I don't know, let's say Santa Fe, an earring like this would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Easily, easily. And, you know, I was so impressed with what I saw when I was there, but nothing compares to the artistry here versus our price. I mean, it's incredible to get that kind of gallery, expensive, beautiful looks that are so yummy and not spend several hundred dollars to do it. I'm telling you, a pair of these earrings, they'd be sitting there in a little glass case and you could see <laughs> easily an extra number in front of that 99, easily. And Jennifer, I know you know that, um, obviously, mm -hmm. since you're in the heart of Southwestern jewelry, but these really are so elevated. They're just not a little rock on a string. These are really beautiful gallery earrings. It's like I'd walk into one of the stores out here and try to look at the jewelry. <laughs> and you're basically just window shopping because when you see the prices, they're like triple the prices out here. And it's it's not because of it, the stone in itself. You know, it, it's, they don't think about the, the jeweler, the person who made it. And so with this, you're getting the, the artwork of the person who made it and their family, their heart and soul. And especially with the prices that we're bringing it, you know, we want to continue with that, uh, that same technique with the, the artisans, you know, to, to bring that culture back to you to HSN. Yeah, no, and I love that too. And I love the fact that every time when I buy one of the pieces from Chaco Canyon or anyone else does, I always think of the artisans that live right here in the U.S. And we want to keep this going. We want to support that next generation who is moving into this kind of artistry. For me, I'm not a big art buyer. Like I don't buy paintings. I don't buy sculpture things. I love wearable art. So I like to invest in this because I can wear it and enjoy it. But I know I truly am helping a true artisan to keep them uh, doing what they love to do most. So I think this is a, such a unique opportunity for all of us to understand that. I mean, these are drop-dead gorgeous earrings. You'll wear these, and girl, you know, girls, we're going to finally be out. <laughs> you know, We know there's light <laughs> at the end of the tunnel. And it was interesting. I was writing something the other day, and I was talking about going through all my jewelry and all my accessories. And I said, you know, you know, I think you really learn to appreciate them and enjoy them more. And we will be back out again, expressing our personalities through our jewelry and through our accessories and our handbags and our shoes. And I just think, what a beautiful thing to add to your collection. The other day, Jennifer, you'll laugh, I was wearing some of my fancy jewelry around my house. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna put it on. I don't care if anybody sees it. My puppies loved it. <laughs> I was like, I feel like that too. <laughs> right? Exactly. You're like, okay, I might be in a t-shirt and, a, and a shorts, but I'm going to wear some fancy jewelry just because I love it. All right, guys, let me give you an update. If you would like the Howlite, and I don't know if you got a really good close-up on this one, guys, but I think the Howlite, and I love this mixed media. This is turquoise and shell, but look at the Howlite. I have less than 100 remaining, and come on, you know... Those are gonna be drop dead gorgeous when you wear them. You wear them with a little black dress, you're going to an event, you wanna wear them kind of funky with a white and black, you know, maybe it's a black crop pant and a white tee that you put these on with your hair pulled back. These are super cool. And Jennifer, you know what was really interesting for me? Is mm -hmm. there's a ton of sterling silver on these, but they're incredibly comfortable. I was so surprised for such yeah. a long earring. They're, they're pretty light. They're comfortable. They don't get stuck in your hair. I mean, there's th throughout here in the Southwest, especially here in Phoenix and the New Mexico area, you have uh, Native and non-Native women who wear these types of jewelry, and they wear it out, you know, plowing the fields be, uh, with, on their tractors or their cowgirls or, even, you know, their mothers taking their kids to school. You know, they, they rock this kind of jewelry, and it's just second nature for them to be wearing it. And um, now that all of us are stuck inside, you know, but we still wear it, you know, regardless. 
Well, plus, you know, too, eventually, we're hoping in maybe a few weeks, a few months, we're going to be back out strutting our stuff, and we're going to be pulling all that great jewelry <laughs> yeah. out, and we're going to be getting dressed again to go to work. Girls, I'm just going to tell you to seriously think about grabbing these while you can. With five flex, here's what I love. If you're new to, to HSN, tonight we have five flex on all of our Chaco Canyon pieces. What does that mean? Use any major credit card or PayPal. You'll have five months to pay this off, but you get them right away, okay? So you have five months to pay it off, and you're going to have really heirloom pieces. All of my uh, turquoise that I have, all of my silver I have, um, it's all considered heirloom pieces in my family from my mom who passed down some of her turquoise pieces to me. And my dad was really into turquoise and Native American jewelry. I have their pieces. This becomes family heirlooms for you to collect. But I'm telling you, of all the earrings I've seen us do in the Chaco Canyon collection, and there's some stunning earrings, these to me are super, super updated. They're fun. They're they're different, they're elongating, they can be dressy, they can be super casual, they go with your jeans or they turn around and go out to a night out because we will go out again. <laughs> Not just to go grab take.